Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about how you can summarize or group and aggregate your data in Power BI using a Power Query. I have another video where you will learn how you can summarize or group and aggregate your data using a DAX function. You will find the link of this video in description box. Let us jump to the computer for the demo. Let me go to Power Query Editor. From here, Transformation Data, Transform Data. Here I have a employee data. So what I'm going to do with this data, so you will see here Department column and Age column. So this age is a uh, age of each employees. So what I want department wise average age. Max age and minimum age. So from on Power Query Editor from Home tab here you will find group by. So let me click on the group by. And I will go to the advanced editor and from first column which I want to group is department, so I will select department. Now in below column, I want. Average age, so I will give name to this column. Average. Age, so on this column, what kind of operation I want to perform? I want to perform average and on which column? So I want to perform on age column. Now this is average. Now I will add one more aggregation and here I will say max age. What kind of the operation I want to perform? Max on which column? Age column. Now the last one I will say mean age. What I want to perform? Mean and on which column? Age column. So now I'll click OK. So here you can see department wise averages, max age and minimum age. Now I have a similar kind of data, similar data basically, and what I'm going to do here, here I will use a three total three columns. So I will use a department and sex male female. So I want to know the department wise and sex wise. Employee count. So let me click on group by. Again, I will go to advance. I will select first column department. Now I, here I'm selecting two columns. Group by column and here I need a sex column, the male female. This column name is I will give. Employee. Sex. Count and what I want to count the row count. Now let me click OK. So here you can see the sales department male count, sales department female count. Let me add these table into a Power BI visual. So I am adding here two tables. One more table. These two table and from employee data, I will take department. Average age. Max age. Mean age. So here you can see all this column. Finance department averages max age and minimum beauty and so on. Now in the next column, what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do, I will add a department and I will add a sex and I will add a employee sex count. So here you can see the finance department female is four count, finance department male is seven count and so on. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I request you to please subscribe my channel.